Hey, so, uh, all right, man. I wish I could call you and talk to you on very different circumstances, but um, Tyler Warner, NCAA champ. Okay, okay. So first things first. You started at Wheeling Jesuit. That's where you won the national title last year. Tell me that story real quick. Wheeling Jesuit and what happened last year. Uh, so we um, we were national runner-ups as a team, and um, we were actually we woke up Sunday in the hotel, and we all had had an email from the president, and uh, pretty much that once you know on Monday everyone uh, he wanted everyone to meet with him, so. Um, we got back to campus and it was kind of like no one even, you know, really was, you know, knew that we even won a national, I mean, got second as a team. Um, and you were national so, champion. You were champion and yeah. Craig was champion as well. Yep. Yep. And, uh, so we get, we get over, we, we have a meeting with the president and, um, he kind of pretty much just said that, uh, you know, our program, not just our program, but, uh, all the sports and stuff, um, can be taken away. Uh, they could drop it, um, pretty much financial problems. And, um, yeah, so it was kind of, it kind of cut our wrestling program, um, and a few other sports, but, uh, to me, it felt like it was just right, you know, just wrestling. Like it was, you know, they, they, they still, they still had sports and, uh, but not wrestling. They, they pretty much just got rid of us and, you know, all of us had to get in a portal and, um, you know, this, this happened in. 48 hours like it was just over just over taken away from us um yeah so so you had a free and fair uh transfer and you went to upj you went to pit johnstown how far are those apart an hour hour and a half uh it's it's about two hours it's so two hours apart okay so yep. wheeling jesuit was a newer program anywhere anyway it was like 10 years old maybe okay and Irwin, it was his first year as a head coach right yep it's a wild thing, right? And then, so you transfer over to UPJ, right? And, and you know, uh, one of the all-time great coaches, okay? Yeah. Um, and you're in a situation where you're there and you get hurt early in the season, right? Yeah. What was it? Shoulder? No, it was my LCL. LCL? My LCL, yep. Okay. So you get hurt earlier in the season and the season looks like it's going to be over for you, Right. All of a sudden, you pull a rabbit out of a hat, and I see you back in the lineup. You're winning matches again, and uh, in your regional, how'd you do in your regional? Oh, I got second at regionals. Um, it was it was it was a match that it was you know it was not Tyler Warner wrestling. Um, not not taking anything away from that kid. The kid's a good wrestler. Uh, I come back. Actually, I was I wasn't gonna go back to UPJ. I kind of I was kind of uh, I got put back in the portal. I was gonna. I was going to transfer somewhere else. Um, but then I decided I, I was going to go back and, you know, I just wanted to, to get back on the mat. And I went back and I think I had two weeks of practice, maybe maybe a little less. Um, wrestled, a, wrestled a duel against Gannon, won that match, and then went to regionals. And, you know, in college, everybody, you know, you wrestle everybody. You're going to meet, you know, at the national tournament, regional tournament. And uh, I had no clue who these kids were. So it's kind of just like feeling them out instead of just opening up and wrestle, uh, wrestling. Um, so in that match, I I pinned my way through. I had a close match in the semis, um, then made it to the finals, and uh, I had a single leg. I, I escaped and I had a single leg and I had an illegal trip. So uh, he got a he got a point for that, which tied it up. And then uh, I was riding him out the whole third period, 34 seconds left, and I think the match honestly got restart. I think they restarted the match. Still made it four times in the third period, which is so you lose a tough match. Did you? You didn't even have double digit matches this year. No, no. What no. was your record? Seven and one, six and one. No, I think it was. I might have hit double. I think it was eight and two. Eight and two. So, oh, okay, you got to ten. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> okay, so it, it's this crazy time for you, and you were an All American as a freshman, right? You took seventh at forty one in a weight you aren't. You're not a forty one pounder. Yeah. And you're, well, the yep. reason you did that was so your brother could wrestle 33, right? Yep. And your brother's an Ohio State champ at Claymont. You're a three-time state champ at Claymont. Yes. So you look at it now. It's this whole crazy thing, right? Like it, 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 you, Last year you get crazy news. This year you guys were out there. You flew out to, to Sioux Falls, South Dakota, right? 
Oh, yeah. Yep, we, we were practicing on the mats, actually. And, uh, well, I guess I shouldn't say we were practicing, um, but they were, you know, open mats. Like, you just go, teams are going, practicing. Um, we were actually in a team meeting, and, uh, you know, Coach Poros is, you know, he's being positive, you know, saying this, like, what could happen. And um, we, were, we just finished our meeting. Uh, we got our tickets for our family, and he gets a phone call, and, you know, they just pretty much said, hey, tournament's done. And the guy, the, you know, the kids that were over there practicing, they, you know, they just said they walked on the mound, like, hey, you know, clear the mats, tournament's canceled, and they just started rolling up the mats. <laughs> clear the mats, tournament's canceled. Yep. Yep. And you guys, okay, so D2 is a, it's a two-day competition. It's a Friday, Saturday. Yep. Where's D1's uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday? Yeah. And I believe D3 is Thursday, Friday, Saturday as well, right? I'm not sure. I, I'm pretty sure D3 is because they were, they were like, when they got canceled, I think they were like hours away from the first whistle is what I really? recall. Right? It's wild. Well, yeah. I know you don't know that, but I, I, I'm pretty sure D3, I'd have to look at it. I think they're a three-day. I know you guys are a two-day. Um, but D2 is obviously growing. Um, pretty rapidly, right? So you're yep, at this absolutely. point. Here's the thing for you, though. And here's what I got to say for you. You have an NCAA title. You know what I mean? Colin yeah. Moore yep. doesn't have an NCAA title. Yeah. You know? I got my heart breaks for these guys. Yeah, man. It's like, but you think about it, like, you have a title. This year was almost going to not be a year for you anyway. You, you barely hit double-digit mat- matches. Um, I'm not saying my heart's not broken for you, man, but you got a title. You know what I mean? Yep. Like. You get what I'm saying, the difference there, right? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yep. How do you feel, you know, moving forward in this? You have one more year, right? Yeah, yep. So you got one more year. Um, what do you do and how do you move forward? And, and you know, like, uh, what do people say to you? What does Coach Picor say to you? What, what, what are you guys talking about? What's going on here? Are you going back to UPJ? What is your situation, Tyler? Um, you know, just, just staying positive. Um, you know, I'm a firm believer that everything happens for a reason. and um, you know, yeah, it this this sucks for for all of us. You know, not just me, for every athlete that's going through this. Um, but I I'm thankful because you know I do have one more year, and like you know Colin Moore and you know Luke Fletcher and you know a lot of those guys, you know they're done. You know they don't get that chance. Um, you know, but you know, Coach Bacora, you know this he we were we remember they had us coming out winning it as a team, and I believe that this was he was gonna hang it up after this, and uh, oh, wow. you know. Yeah, so, um, you know, I think it's, I know it's tough for him, you know, because he's like, man, you know, we had a really good team. You know, dull team, I mean, we were solid, but tournament, I think we had, that's where, that's where, you know, I think that's where it was going to get, get a little dirty, so. But, uh, no, you know, you just stay positive and, um, you know, just go with the flow and, you know, whatever happens, happens and, you know, just continue to be a, a good team and, you know, come together and, you know, just be there for each other and, and just be ready to get after it for next year and just, you know, do do what we were going to do this year. So, yeah, but uh, it does suck. It sucks for those guys that are that don't get this chance back. I mean, hopefully, hopefully they, they you know they give them this chance. But I, it's going to be tough. I don't I don't think it's going to happen. So yeah, that year back. That's the big thing I've talked to everybody about. You know, you bring it up. They're talking about you know granting an extra year for people yeah. who. And it was 95% of the season for all of you. All three yeah. divisions had wrestled 95% of the season. I get you're a week you know, earlier than D1, right? And D3 and you're the same weekend, but it's 95% of the season. Yeah, It's, it's already yep. been wrestled. They're giving the spring athletes another year. You do know that, right? That's the big talk, yeah. right? Yep. Um, where do you go from here? Uh, you know, like what, what, what do you do? I mean... Everybody talks. First off, I love D two wrestling. I love the setup of your championships. I love the parody is what I really love about D two. You know, you got a guy. You got these guys from Tiffin. I, you know, because you know, Oak Harbor's over by Tiffin, so I get a lot of Tiffin information. They got these guys who pin guys. They got like the one and the three guy in the country for pins. Yep. The guys who never, you know, they're crazy. These guys are crazy pinners. You know. Um, you go to the tournament, and it doesn't matter if you're thirty four and zero in the number one seed. A guy that is unseated. Can knock you off. The D one oh, yeah. tournament's not really like that. Yep. That's what I love about the. There's so much parity in the D D two tournament. Do you see yourself at UPJ next year? Do you try and dip your 
toe in the water in D1. What do you do at this point? Um, you know, I, you know, I've always talked to you about this. I've always wanted to go Division One. Um, and I, when I was put back in the portal, you know, during uh, Christmas break, it was kind of, you know, I had a lot of schools, you know, offer me, and but um, you know, there, I want to go to a Division One school that, um, you know, it's gonna, it's gonna make me. It's gonna, it's gonna help me become a national champ. You know, I don't want to go to a school and just say, hey, you know, I want Division One. I, I wrestled, you know, Division One. I. I want to go to a school that's, you know, gonna help me reach my goals. And, um, you know, I, I am thinking, you know, I'm thinking about it. And, um, you know, I, I, I do want to do that. And hopefully that, you know, I get put back in the portal, doors open, and um, a school brings me in and, you know, trusts me and. You know, believes in me, and I think we can. I think we can make some noise in Division One. So, you know, another uh, guy from UPJ who did that was Strip Matter. You know, he yeah, oh yeah, Jody. national champ there, and then he went and he was in the national finals for Iowa. Uh, yep. A monster at one twenty five. You see the guy now; he was that big. Imagine him cutting down to one twenty five that big, right? This is yep. a massive twenty five. Um, you in Division One? Are you a twenty-five or thirty-three? What do, What do you think? Like, you know what I mean? Like, is that that's obviously part of this when you talk about this, Tyler? Um, I think I'm a thirty-three. Uh, twenty-five, twenty-five be tough. But again, um, I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I I, I think that I'm definitely going to go with thirty-three. I feel good at thirty-three, and um, doing it myself, you know, making weight myself. Um, thirty-three, at, you know, it's a little tough. But um, I get there, and you know I feel good. But uh, being, getting help from you know Division One, they you know they they they're on food plans and stuff like that. So uh, you know I don't know. Maybe if you know I had that, maybe I would be a twenty-five. But uh, I definitely think a thirty-three. Yeah, it's right now. So. You beat Alvarez earlier this year from Rutgers, right? Yeah. Yep. Did you have you seen his match with uh, Seth Gross at Big Tens? I, I did not. Did not see. That's it. how I know you're that caliber. Yeah, absolutely. I also I, I know that because you're a two. three-time Ohio State champion. Okay, so let's go back to that. I got I got an ultimate question for you. You're going for your fourth state title, right? And you lose in the semis, and then you come back and take third, right? Yep. As a senior. Yeah. Would you rather lay it all on the line and take third again or have the state tournament canceled? Uh, no, I, 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 I take third. I take third. I, I just, you know, just, you know, I didn't, I didn't lose. I learned in that match. Um, you know, winning, winning and losing, it's just, it, it's part of life. Wrestling is, it's, it's part of life. Um, it's something that we do for fun. Um, losing that match, it, it you know, it, it hurt. I still have, to, <laughs> I was the first to do it in the state of Ohio, and probably the first to do it in. United States, I don't know, but uh, no, I it you know I when I lost that match, I just told myself you know I I'm gonna come back and get third because that's what a true champion does. Um, you know, not to talk about anybody or you know say any names, but there's a few that done the same, and you know they just they just said I'm done, pulled themselves from the tournament. Um, I couldn't couldn't live with that. I wanted to I wanted to walk off the match, the state tournament with a win, and um, I did that. So no, I I don't I I don't think I would ever want that tournament to to be canceled. I take third every day of the week. What do you think of those kids now? You know, I have a nephew who's a district champion. Um, you know, he's a, he's ranked top two in the state, and he's taken some some butt whippings this year from the best guys in Division One and Division Two, and he's a D three guy, and he's not going to get the wrestle in the state tournament. It doesn't look like. Um, and I think he had a lot of momentum building. You know what I mean? Like, he was just really just crushing people. Crushing people. You know, losing to the number two guy uh, in two overtime matches from Bellevue. The guy who's going to Cornell. You know what I mean? Like, he's got all this momentum build up. And he's going to lose it. And he's a junior. He never even made it out of the sectional tournament before. Crushed everybody at the sectional. Crushed everybody at the district. And then, um, you know, that guy's got a ton of momentum build up. He's a no Carver guy. And they wrestle a solid style. But he's probably not going to get that year. Patty Gallagher is not going to get that year to, you know, beat one of the best guys in the country, another Cornell guy, Najee Lockett. Like, we're not going to get to see those matchups. You know, like, 
How do you think you would have dealt with that? Because they're not going to get their tournament either. I mean, they're talking like they're going to. They're just not going to. I mean, we're talking about an eminent health risk here for a large, you know, a, even if it's a percent of the United States population, that's still 3 million people, right? It's a lot of people to die. You know what I mean? To put that many people at risk to have a tournament, I don't I don't think that that's very prudent and sound. But I know we don't like this. I know you and I are like, ah, well, we'll take the risk of getting the, the virus, right? Like, I know a lot. And that, Terrell, Terrell DeLagnum said that. He goes, if you ask the 300 athletes in D1, 330 athletes in D1, 300 of them are going to go wrestle in that tournament. Oh, absolutely. But you get, you do get the eminent health risk, right? Like, you get that much, yeah. right? Uh, yeah, yeah, yep. Yep. I don't know I if do. a lot of people are getting that right now. No, I don't think they are either. But it's it's something that you know, you know, if we if we would have wrestled and you know one of us would have got you know got really sick, then that's coming back on you know fancy double A and the people are trying to turn it. And not only that, you know, you get you know if you you catch that virus, and you go home and you know your grandma or you know your grandpa, you know you, you hang out with them, you know they're you're just giving it to them, you know. And yeah, that's. We can't. We can't be having that. Yeah. And 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 I know this. This sucks. But again, like I said, everything happens for a reason. And I believe that greater things are going to come to all of us. You know, that are going through this. Not not just college and you know high school. Like those guys that those kids that are you know their dreams. You know they they feel them and they're crushed. You know they're never get they're never getting it back like you said. But um, I think they need to just be positive and know that um, just greater things are coming for them. And you know, they're going to, one day they're going to forget about this. They're going to forget about it. They're going to laugh about it and say, you know, Corona, coronavirus beat me, you know, in 2020. Um, cause they're going to, they're going to be, they're, we're going to be seeing those guys winning national titles and, you know, they're going to forget about, you know, they're going to forget about that. And yeah, and, and again, and I'm, I'm not feeling how they feel, you know, because it didn't happen to me in high school, but I know that something happened to me in high school that, you know, just tore me apart. But, um, I know like, after I won a Division Two national title, I mean, you know, all the weight off my shoulders was just gone. You know, so it was like, man, this is this is awesome. But winning that again, you know, I never, I never even think about, you know, high school wrestling. Made you yeah, a better yeah, person. I gone and I laugh. Made you a better person. Yeah, yeah, and absolutely, absolutely. Yep. Um, are you sick of being slighted uh, in Division Two wrestling? You know, it's like. Uh, the Menard kid from uh, Ashland writes me a, a message yesterday. Really nice kid, Chandler. Um, yep. And he's like, oh, I, you know, I'm a D2 perspective if you care. And I'm like, well, absolutely I care. And I think that's a lot of thing that you guys know about me is I care. Yep. Whether No matter what division you are, whether you're a Division 1, 2, 3, NAIA, JUCO guy, I care. Are you, do you guys, is the, the slight of being D2 and there's so much attention on D1, does that get to you at all? Um. No, no. Uh, th- this is how I look at Division Two and Division, you know, Division One, Division Three, Junior, NAIA. Um, I this wrestling is wrestling. Um, I have to say, I I I think I have like twelve losses in college, and I don't think a single loss. And I've wrestled a lot of Division One wrestlers in college, a lot, and uh, I've wrestled good Division One wrestlers in college, and I've yet to be beat by a Division One college wrestler. I didn't beat by all Division two wrestlers, and I don't know if I've been beat by Division three, but um, that just shows you, you know, the talent that's in Division Division two and Division three. Um, I always I always say there's there you have ten absolute studs in Division one, and you have five in Division two, and you have five in Division three. But I I know for a fact if you take those those five studs in Division two and Division three from Division one, we're just as good as those guys, if not better. So, um, I, I do, it, it, it makes me a little angry how they look down a little bit. Not, not you, but there's, there's like, uh, I'm not going to get down in there, but, uh, there's a good yeah, bit of them at, who don't respect you guys that, for sure. Yeah. And it's wrestling. It's, you know, I think they, I think the, we, we should, we deserve the respect that division one wrestlers do. And, um, you know, they, they, they want the, the sport to build and, you know, they want all that. And it's like, well, you know, it's all about division one. Why not division two, you know? And I'm not talking, you know, I'm not being big headed or anything. I just, I just, I use that for an example. You know, it's just, just I me. Mean, I know, I know I'm just as good as any division one wrestler. Um, you know, I, I haven't been beat by a division one wrestler. So 
and it's all division two and i always i always say you know the problem with division one wrestling and you know you're a division one wrestler you have that you know you have that ohio state single on you have that penn state single on you know you have all those you know big ten singlets just any division one school um these kids you know there's not you can't go above division one you know you you can't you can't put a different single on that's above b1 you know these guys in b2 you know our goal is to be division one you know you have freshmen that that are wrestling division two but want to be division one so you know it's they're scrapping you know they want to scrap they want to they want to you know we get after it and you know division one guys i think when that when it comes in play when you know they're like oh i'm division one you know look at this kid you know he's got a, a real jesuit singlet on you know i'm look at me i'm wearing a high stakes singlet. you know that you know that 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 drive in d2 it's it's dangerous you know they they want they want what they want to be that division one wrestler you know so yeah i mean that's that's how i look at that i got but, two uh, names two names you ready yep usman garbrandt where'd they wrestle in college where did they? Yeah, do you know? I don't. Carney and Newberry. Oh, Gar. Okay, okay, yeah. Cody did go to, Cody did to Newberry, go to Newberry for, about, for about a week. Yeah, for about a cup of coffee. Yeah. He's <laughs> yeah. a D1 guy, obviously. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I Cody Garbrandt is world, unreal. World champion, right? And then <laughs> Usman, right? Usman yep. won the NCAAs for uh, Carney. Yep, Nebraska, yep. Right? So, I mean, you yeah, think about, did. like, come on, man. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, what what yep. more do I really need to say there? Yeah, there's not much you can say. <laughs> the levels yeah. are obviously there, and I think I think all three levels in the NCA are, you got D3 guys who can roll, man. I, I, oh, man, there's, there's, you know, that Jordan from Mount Union, that kid's unreal. Yeah. I mean, yeah. that kid is, that kid's an absolute stud. Bed, Bedford kid. Yep. Uh, but I mean, Rod James, but Jordan, Jordan James. Oh, Jordan James. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Total stud. Yep. Yeah. I actually want to see you guys roll because he's a third. He's a forty-one year, thirty-three. Yep. Yep. He's a freak. Um, and he the is. older brother's obviously a freak too. Yep. Unreal, man. So, um, okay, I gotta take kids to the park. They're gonna run in here soon. I can hear them. I can hear the madness in the other room building. You got anything else for me? No, no, I do. I appreciate you, uh, you know, giving me a call and. I always enjoy talking to you. Yeah, man, for sure. Um, hang on the line a little bit here. I'm gonna cut this live feed. Talk to you a little bit more. You sure you got? We're, we're all good. We don't have anything else for me. Nope. All right, let me cut this live feed, and I'll talk to you a little bit afterwards. All right. Hey, thank you for the time, Tyler. Yeah. All right, buddy. Let me.